Is the US looking to sell weapons to Pakistan? Should India be worried about this? Pakistan cabinet had reportedly approved a security pact with the United States. The same pact was signed first in October 2005 for 15 years and expired in 2020 to facilitate arms trade between the two countries. Almost after three years, Pakistan has approved a new security pact, CIS MOA, with the US to mark a fresh start in bilateral military relations. The signing of this CIS MOA indicates the US might sell some military hardware to Pakistan in the coming years. CIS MOA is a foundational agreement that the US signs with its allies, providing a legal cover to the US Department of Defense for ensuring the sale of military equipment and hardware to other countries. It covers joint exercises, operations, training, basing and equipment. Is this day fishy? Why the secrecy? How should India see this move? The latest American assistance to Pakistan in the form of $450 million worth of upgrades of F-16 fighter jets made New Delhi upset. The F-16s, with Pakistan's in 1980, were used against India in the aerial dogfight that ensued between the two air forces on February 27, 2019, a day after India's airstrikes in Balakot. The US has been trying since 2000 to sell F-16s to India. However, because of their association with Pakistan, F-16s have not been inducted by the Indian Air Force. The Indian government doesn't believe that this development will have any impact on the relationship. But it is reportedly upset that the US did not forewarn India about a policy decision that can have serious implications for India's security. In recent years, New Delhi and Washington have become key defence and strategic allies. Since 2011, India have purchased weapons and military platforms worth $4.6 billion from the US. Recently, the US is to sell 31 unmanned armed ripper MQ-9B drones to India, 15 for the Navy and 8 each for the Army and Air Force, and jointly produce fighter jet engines for Indian Air Force light combat aircraft MK-2 Tejas.